Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maria. Today we are making two Halloween centerpieces. Let's get to it. Okay, so I got these from the dollar store um, in the party section. I got the purple because I was trying to do like a purple and black um, theme for these centerpieces. So I got two of these trays, uh, one big and one small. Um, and I painted them with the black spray paint. And then I got the styrofoams and the two smaller plates, which I also painted with the black spray paint. So we're going to start with the bigger one. Um, I'm going to put the little feet on there. I use the beads. I didn't bother painting them because I felt like you're not going to see them. What's the point? So I glue four of them on here and then I use the hot glue to glue them on there. And then I flip it over and then start moving to the next part of this which is to move the plate over and add the feet to it I uh, also add three beads to this one I flip it over because it's gonna go in that spot right there and then I grab the styrofoam and I glue the styrofoam to the plate and then I grab the skull and I was gonna put the skull in there but I changed my mind because I didn't like how it looked so I put the hands so um, I'm going to use skewers to put the hand on there. I didn't have my drill to, next to me to drill the holes on it. So I'm going to glue the stick to the back. And then I put that onto the styrofoam. And then I add some flowers to decorate it. Okay, so I, spain I painted the styrofoam black because I didn't want I didn't want you to see the green when I put the flowers on in case I didn't fill it up completely. But I had bought some pumpkins, purple pumpkins that I bought on the side. It came in the pack, and I put one of the sticks on it, and then I put that in there with a couple other things on the side. And I added the flowers in the back because I wanted to hide the the skewers that were glued on to the hands. So moving on to the next one the next step I'm sorry I put the skull next to that and I put a couple spiders um but I wasn't liking how that was looking so I was like you know what I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm just going to work on the other one so um for this one I put the flowers around it and I grabbed one of the, the white pumpkins non-painted or whatever that from the dollar store and I start painting it white but then I didn't want to paint it any other color, but I felt like I didn't want to leave it like that. So I did add some white on it. And then after the white, I do add some of that uh, sheepskin by Folk Art. And to make it like, to give it some type of color to it. Um, so I do paint that in a different color. Um, so then I end up adding a stem to it because I cut the top off. I add a stem to it. And then I add um, a little flower, one of the, the leaves that was that came with the flowers, which is black. So you're gonna see me paint that first in white, and then I throw the other color on top, which is the sheepskin by Folkart. I will list everything in the description box below. Um, but this one was also really, really simple. I could have easily did this a different color, but mm, I don't know. I wanted it white.
So this is more like an off-white type color or like a really light beige. It's not too dark, but it's not too light either because you can tell that it's not completely white. Um, so after I paint it, of course, I let it dry for a little bit. And then I add that stem that came from a pack that I also bought from the dollar store. And then I grab the little leaves that was left over from the flowers and I start putting that on there. But it just wasn't staying because everything else was like a little dry. What well, was dry. And there was like the part where the stem is that really wasn't too dry completely. There were some parts that maybe had too much paint. So that one didn't completely dry. So I did dry it up a little bit with the heat gun. Um, and then I start to put the flower on. I mean the leaf on. But it just wasn't staying in place because that part was still wet for some reason. But I do dry it up a little bit. And then I grab a piece of skewer and I stick that to the bottom of, of the leaf. And I put that into the pumpkin and then I add the stem to it. To make it look a little bit better for it to stay in place where it's supposed to. So um, this was from a pack of spiders that I also bought from the dollar store. And then... I had some of the smaller black ones that I had left over from the earlier craft that I did with the spiders and I glued that on there as well and then I just put a couple more spiders on there and then I move on to putting it where the flowers were. So now I bring this over and yes, I know it's halfway done with flowers, but I just did it as crap. You can fill it up with flowers if you want to. I didn't. Um, I ran out of flowers actually. But anyway, moving on to the next. I did have these, this big spider and the bones and I wanted to add that to that because I felt like it still looked plain with the smaller spiders. And I added that to that. This is a very simple craft. And then I added a spider on top of the skull, which I felt was... I don't know why not I have spiders everywhere add more spiders to it right um but this was a really easy craft it was off from the dollar store very simple if you're trying to do something quick or last minute this will probably be it I will be doing making one more um Halloween centerpiece so look for that video next week but I hope you like this video it was quick easy short video um please like and subscribe for more thanks for watching bye